my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Nomita, and you are watching The Power of the Holy Spirit with Maria Valle. We can keep the spirit grieved by the words that come out of our mouth. Grumbling, complaining, criticism, gossiping, ju being judgmental. All these things grieve the Holy Spirit. In Ephesians 4, I'm not going to read it, but check it out. Ephesians 4, the Apostle Paul says, these things keep the spirit grieved. What does that mean? That the spirit is acting like if he was not there. Amen? He's silent. Then we wonder, I don't hear the voice of God. But what have you been saying all day long? You've been grumbling. You've been complaining. And God takes that seriously. That would be another teaching. There's no time for that. Grumbling and complaining, criticizing, cursing in the middle of traffic, all these things. This is like a lifestyle, using our tongue like that. But uh, in Ephesians 4, uh, 30, starting in verse 29, go, go home and read it. You grieve the Holy Spirit of God when those words come out of our mouth. And in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the Apostle Paul says, Give thanks to the Lord in every circumstance, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Spirit. What is Paul saying? Whatever we go through in life, even we might not understand it at the moment, God's will for us is to start thanking Him. Amen? Don't try to analyze. Start thanking him. Then the revelation will come. You know what happens when we go through a trial or a difficulty or a moment of, uh, of trauma or whatever? We start using the tongue in the wrong way. At the moment that we really need the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So this is, this is something that we need to cultivate. How to cultivate the presence of God. Amen? So... Some people never hear the voice of God because some people, all they do is grumble and complain all day long. They criticize, they gossip, they get on the phone. By the time they get to the parking lot, they're already putting down the preacher or the priest. or You know, that's not the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So tonight we're going to do an activation. I want you to find a partner, preferably somebody that you do not know. We're going to prophesy. Thank you, Lord. I mean, don't, don't run so fast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Go get preferably a partner that you do not know. Does everyone here speak in tongues? Everyone speaks in tongues, hopefully. Are you baptized in the Spirit? Well, shika baba, start moving your tongue. Move your mouth. Shika baba 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 baba. Move it. Make sounds. Come on, shika baba 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 baba. Release it, Lord. Release it. But I want to hear your voice. Shika baba 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 baba. Shika la baba 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 baba. Kora baba baba baba. Shika baba. Everyone has a partner. Are you baptized in the Spirit? No. <laughs> you really need to be baptized in the Spirit. Do you want to be baptized in the Spirit? Yes. Then uh, just sit there. Get another partner. Just wait there. We'll pray for you later. I'd rather that you stand unless you cannot stand because of a physical problem. Just stand, listen, stand, unless you're sick or whatever, stand. And I want you to follow instructions, okay? We are going to pray in tongues for a minute. I'm going to, time, I'm going to be timing. We're going to pray in, the, in tongues for a minute. Then we're going to listen. We're going to repeat it three times. We're going to do it three times. You do not say a word. Just follow directions. Amen? Amen? So what I want you to do now is to repeat after me. Father God, I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. I thank you that you have gifted me with revelation gifts. I believe that I can prophesy 
Because your word says so. And I have your Holy Spirit. I believe that tonight you want to bless the person next to me with a word from the throne. I believe that you want to comfort, exhort, edify, strengthen the person in front of me. Father, I ask you that you would speak to me so that I can bless your child. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus in this place. I decree and I declare that this is kingdom territory. I command out of this place, in Jesus' name, every spirit of blindness, every spirit of deafness, every spirit of confusion, every spirit of distraction, get out. In Jesus' name. name. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Holy Spirit, Spirit. just fill me to overflowing. overflowing. Let the rivers of living water water. start flowing. And let your voice voice. be released. released. Okay, so we're going to pray. You have a partner? Somebody here needs a partner. No, he's going to get it later. We're going to pray in the spirit for one minute. Don't start. I want you to listen to the directions. Amen? Amen. When I say go, we're going to pray in the spirit for a minute. When I say stop, stop. One, two, three, go. Shika ba 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 Corra vara si, corra vara si, corra vara si, corra vara si, caccia ca ba 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 ba. Corra vara 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 si ca ba 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 ba. Ti cara vara vara si ca la vara si ca ta cara vara vara. Amana mara co si ca ba 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 ba. Keep it going. Corra vara 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 si ca ma si cara vara si ca ta cara vara 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 va. Stop. Just listen. It could be a word. Could be a passage of scripture. Could be a vision. Could have a mental picture. Could be just a deep knowing inside of you. Okay, let's go again. Shika ba 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 ko ra ba ra si ka ba ra ba ra ba ra si ka ba 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 ko ka mana si ho ka mana si ka si ka ba 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 ko ra ba la ba la ba ra ba la ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra. Oh la 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 Orra ba 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 si calavara si calavara si calavara o con un mono si cacica ba 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 e le 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 vanda caravanda caravanda si cavanda calavala valala orra ba 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 vanda sarava okay stop if you get a mental image of something ask the Lord what is it Lord reveal it to me. Okay, last time. Shika ba 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 ba, korra vara si, kara vara si, kara vara si, kara vara si, 
Open your mouth, keep praying the spirit. Toka Ravara Vara, Toka Ravara Vara, Toka Ravara, Sika Takaravara, Sika Lavara Vara, Sika Lava, O Chika Mana Saka Takaravara Vara, O Rava Vara 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 Vara, Sika Ma, O Karapara Sika Tai La Lai La Lai La Rai Vara La Rai La Lai, O Korra Vala La Lai, O Korra Vara Vala Vala Tara Vara 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 Sika Vara 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 Orra vala vala ila la ila la ila la ila la ila la 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 la. Orra vala vara 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 vara. Shika ba 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 ba. Kara ila la ila la la. Stop. Think. Be connected to the spirit. What is he showing you? Don't say anything. Amen. 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 Okay, don't say, don't open your mouth yet. How many of you have received something to give to your partner? Can you raise your hand? Even if it's small, it doesn't matter. Amen. Okay, so now first one, then the other one. So now the first one that is going to speak, prophesy that word now. Prophesy. Doesn't have to be long. Now the other person. Thank you, Jesus. Once you're done, you can be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Once you're done, you can sit. Thank you, Jesus. Once you're done, go sit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just sit wherever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We should be done by now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. The men are taking longer this time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen? Are you done? Back there, are you done? <laughs> it's a long one. <laughs> I don't know how to whistle like that. Are you done? Are you done? Huh? I think we're just getting into it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Are you done, ladies, back there? Amen. How many of you uh, received a word that you know came from God and it has encouraged you? Can you go like this? Go like this. Look, look around the room. People are encouraged. You know what? Your faces have changed. Amen? Amen. How many of you got uh, blessed by that word? Thank you, Lord. See, you know, if, if we only hook on to the fact of who lives inside of us. You know, this is the time God is raising Daniels and Deborahs and Josephs, people that will impact governments and nations. 
Because we, we, the people of God, we have the wisdom of God. We have the answers. Amen? But because we have been so timid and we're so afraid and I'm so, I can't, what if, and what if the devil has kept us bound with fear and discouragement. But this is the time to rise up because the Bible says that a man's gift will take that person before kings and princes. Amen? It's God's desire that we start using the gifts of the Holy Spirit Specifically, the uh, revelatory giftings. These are awesome. You know what? When people in the world, people in government see that we, we know what God is saying and what God has in store, they will call for us. What do you think I should do? Amen? Amen. Is that powerful or what? Amen. It's God's desire to impact nations and governments and businesses and corporations. People in business should be hearing from God. People that invest in the stock market should be hearing from God. You understand what I'm saying? People of God should be shining in every area of society, in business, in government, in entertainment, in the media, in, in the medical world, in, in the universities, in the schools, because we have God living inside of us. What is wrong with us? Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Is there somebody here that uh, you have a desire uh, in your life somewhere in there to run for public office, like to po in politics and hold a governmental position? I mean, whatever it is, in the city council, in, in Congress, in anybody? You? Come. Thank you, Lord. See that God wants to bless her. What, what is your desire? What is it? To lead. To lead others to God. But in government? In government. Okay, see? Yes. City council, God, type of government. God wants to bless her. Do we need Christians in, in government? Yes. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Let's do something. Let's pray over her. And we're going to pray in tongues, and somebody will prophesy over her. What is your first name? Olivia. I, Olivia. Thank you, Lord, for Olivia. Thank you, Lord, that you have given her... That desire in her heart, you yourself have placed that in her heart, Lord God. And you spoke this out this evening because you want it to become a reality. Holy Spirit, just come, shika ba -ba -ba, on her. Give her wisdom. Give her revelation. Give her revelatory giftings, Lord. Give her your mind, O oh Christ, shika ba -ba, so that she can shine, so that she can make a difference in government and in this city in Jesus' name. Shika ba 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 ba, korra ba la ba la ba la ba ra ba ra. Shika ba 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 ba, korra ba 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 ra ba ra ba ra ba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Shika ba 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 ba. I don't see everybody praying. Ask the Lord to give you a word for her. Shika ba ba. You can sit. Shika ba 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 ra 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 ba. Korra ba 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 Amen. If you have something for her, I'll start. I, I, I'm seeing in the spirit uh, wings, and I believe the Lord is saying, uh, my daughter Olivia, the time has come. I'm going to give you a third heaven revelation. <laughs> I'm going to take you up. You're going to be soaring on high like the eagles. I'm going to show you the end from the beginning. I am releasing uh, wisdom, revelation. I'm, I'm giving you uh, amazing knowledge. I have seen your heart. You will be soaring on the height like the eagles. I'm giving you the eyes of an eagle. And many will come to you from the north, south, east, and west for wisdom, for knowledge, for revelation. And you will certainly make a difference in this city. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else or anything? Thank you, Lord. Amen. The Lord will give you more than what you think. Anybody else? And the Lord says, lean not on your own understanding. Trust not in the consequences. 
counsel of those that consider themselves to be the wise and the learned instead. Learn the wisdom of God. Follow God's word. One more. Anybody else? Huh? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What? Thomas More. Thank you, Jesus. You, when, when the Lord gives you a word, you've got to ask, what do you mean, Lord? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yes. Conviction. Standing on truth and not moving from what God wants. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, are you blessed? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, let's stand up and just give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Now turn to the person next to you. Turn to the person next to you and bless that person. In my thinking, in my mind, in my emotions, set me free, Lord. You want me to experience your life. Come, Holy Spirit. This is a new day. Fill me with your joy, with your love and peace. No more shame. No more guilt. No more condemnation. Come, Holy Spirit, and set me free. Amen. Hallelujah. You can give him a mighty shout and a clap offering. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. So, in John 10:10, 10, 10, Jesus says, I've come to bring you life and life more abundantly. And uh, it's amazing what uh, the Lord did for us at that cross. And I think that we Catholics, we are living on, under what God wants, uh, we're living under of what God has given to us. Amen? Are you understanding? We are sons and daughters of, most, of the Most High God, and usually we live like orphans, and we have not understood what a great inheritance Jesus Christ has won for us at the cross. And it's mostly because we are usually not in the Word of God because I travel everywhere, and this is a big problem with the church, and I'm, the church is us. I'm not talking about the building. It's us. We are not in the Word of God as we should be. Amen? Amen. So the Word of God is truth, and if we are not in the truth, we'll believe the lies of the devil. And so it's important that we understand if we want to grow up in Christ, if we, if we want to enter into the destiny that he has for us here, we need to be a people of the word of God. We need to be in the spirit and in the word. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because the Lord has amazing plans for his church down here. And if the only thing that he wanted when he died on that cross was to take us to heaven one day, we would be in heaven now. But the fact is that we are here on planet earth. We are his church. We are his bride. We are his body. We are his army. And God advances his kingdom on earth through us. Amen? Amen. Amen. We are his. Yes. We are the ones that he works with. But, you know, a sleepy church and a lukewarm church and a passive church 
does not impact society. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. So the Holy Spirit is moving, waking up his people. Because, brothers and sisters, we have, we have the only thing that matters. We have the answer to everything. We have the Jesus. We have the Savior. We have the Messiah. We have the Holy Spirit with us. Amen? Amen. We have everything that the world needs. Only in Jesus is there salvation. Only in Jesus is there forgiveness. Only in Jesus is there freedom and deliverance. Amen? Amen. And the whole world is crying out. The whole world is in pain, going to the psychics, going to, to the occultism and all of these things because they have not understood what God has done for us. So it's important that today you make a decision and you say, I'm entering into my destiny. I am receiving everything that Jesus died to give me. I am appropriating the new life and I'm taking over the abundant life. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to go through seven things that Jesus did for us at the cross. I'm sure he did many more things. But these are seven, seven important things that we need to understand so that we can walk in freedom, so that we can walk in victory, so that we can enter into the prophetic destiny that the Lord has for the church at this point in the history of the human race. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, one of the things, and I, you've heard this many, many times, Jesus on the cross became sin for us. We, you find that in 2 Corinthians 5. How many of you brought your Bibles to, today? Well, not enough, you see, but some of you did. Verse 21, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So Jesus was made sin on our behalf, so that we could become the righteousness of God. And in Hebrews 9, 22, it says, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. So what is the detergent? What is uh, the... Um, what has God made available for us to be forgiven and cleansed and washed? The blood of Jesus. Amen? Amen? As Catholics, we go to reconciliation. It's a wonderful sacrament, but it's based on the blood of Jesus. Amen? Amen. So the blood of Jesus is our victory. Thank you. Uh, Revelation 12, 11, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And this is so important because the devil operates in lies and deception. And one of the uh, job descriptions of the devil is that he is the accuser of the brethren. He comes and accuses, accuses. You're no good. You will never amount to anything. You're a disaster. God bless you and see you next program.